Papinetti here. The feature prelim bout of Eternal 87 is in the books. Victorious Genghis Khan Diada. Well done on a very dominant victory tonight in the feature prelim bout. Man, it was, it was awesome. Um, I said I'd get it done in one, get it done in one round, and I did. Um, can't much, can't get much better than that. Eh? It's fucking brilliant. So. Yeah, as uh, Hollywood Blake Richardson mentioned, you were supposed to be the first fight in the pro card, but again, to be a feature uh, prelim bout on a massive card like this on Australia's biggest weekend, you must be very proud. Yeah, I'm super proud. Like, e either what if I was the first fight, the last fight, it wouldn't matter to me as long as I get a fight and I come here and show my performance and show that I'm a great martial artist and obviously everyone's seen that now and I'm chasing that title shot, so I think that's coming soon now. Well, you're very uh, loyal to Eternal MMA, Australia's biggest and best MMA promotion. That was, I think it was about your sixth MMA uh, fight for Eternal and uh, something like that. Anyway, you've been seventh. It might have been your seventh, so that was massive. Oh, ben, ben Vickers there, very proud of you. Scrappy MMA as well. Talking about Scrappy MMA as Ben Vickers comes in, very proud. I mean, what a, what a corner you got there as well. Uh, yeah, you mentioned a few of them in the ring, but you might as well uh, you know, mention them again now. Yeah, I mean, like Darcy, Josh, Ryan, like these guys are some of the best trainers I've ever had. I've trained at gyms all over the, over the world, Thailand, all over Australia, and like these, these, these are some of the best coaches I've ever had. Honestly, like I'm leveling up all the time because of these guys, and I can't thank them enough. So it's been so good with having Scrappy as a team. And yeah, well, what's next? Who knows? Let's go. What I do know, because I have called uh, several of your fights, Genghis Khan Diada, that is 3-0 for you, so you're on a tear. Uh, credit to uh, to your opponent for taking the fight as well. I mean, again, you had so many changes leading this fight. Either no one wanted to fight you, I can understand why with the tear that you're on, but for him to step up the way he did, uh, you took care of business and you did what you had to do. Yeah, much respect to him. I mean, like, he's usually a lightweight as well. So he, he had, you know, massive balls to jump in there with me. Like, I've already had two knockouts this year. And he was willing to take it on six days' notice. So, like, like yeah, he's a fucking, he's a, tr he's a trooper. Like, good on him, man. Yeah. You gave a bit of a teaser in the cage that uh, what you want next. You might as well tell uh, all our uh, viewers right now, again, after three in a row on, uh, again, Eternal MMA, that's saying something. What is next for Genghis Khan Diada? I want the title shot next, and I want Lachlan Stitt. He has a title, so I want him. He's next. You heard it first right here, ladies and gentlemen. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of the weekend. It is massive. We've got the main card coming up, but go up and rest. Enjoy the victory with your team, and we can't wait to see you back in the cage again. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully 10 weeks we go again. Let's fucking get it, eh? Thank you.